Hey guys, I had to shoot this video a few times because some of my emotions ran hot. Uh, basically, I'm going to try to be as calm as possible. And I love it. So before I begin, uh, Owen got banned. Or he's been gone. Yuya got banned for 30 months, so he's gone. And Gary T quit. So we have three openings for the Mythic Players League. Autumn took the first opening. So Autumn took Owen's opening. And according to Kotaku, I guess Autumn does not view herself as a woman or a man. She's just non-binary. Because Jessica took either Gary T's or Yuya Watanabe's spot. Uh, Jessica identifies as a binary female. So Kotaku is reporting that she is the first female in the Pro Magic League, which is the Mythic Players League. And congratulations to her. I don't want to be negative on her as much as I was in my past recordings because I think it is a proud accomplishment, um, and she is the first woman, binary woman, in Magic the Gathering, so congrats, Jessica. The other choice was a guy who quit Hearthstone in 2018, Savaz, and he has very little magic accomplishments. Uh, Jessica's magic accomplishment, which I will note here, she won a team Grand Prix with two other guys who I will show you an image of, and it is easy to be carried. There was one dude, I think it was Mar Marcellios, and he lost every single game, yet they still won the Grand Prix in the team because it is a team. So her teammates are not part of the Mythic Players League, but she is. And this is a active, um, this is actively being pursued by Wizards of the Coast. They are not, uh, they released a press release saying that they will pursue diversity and this is one way they're going to do it. Gary T quit. Uh, Gary T is old school. And he is also a white male. So Owen is gone. Yuya has been banned for 30 days. And Gary T says that he doesn't believe this is a good system because it does not reward people who actually love magic. And it's the same from Reed Duke. Reed Duke makes a statement about this issue, but he has not made a statement about Owen's issue. And same with Brian Kibler, who is, by the way, a Hearthstone player now. Uh, there's no other way to classify him. So what I can conclude is for diversity's sake, we need to remove certain types of players that are more likely to play Magic, and we need to have more women in Magic, more non-binary players in Magic, more transgender players in Magic, and that's how we're going to do it. Uh, we already see this in coverage. Uh, coverage is not a representation of the player base. I actually was reading the eSports and I saw the banner they chose, which is very, it indicates the direction of Magic the Gathering this time. I believe that if you were to ask people, uh, Tolarian Community College is a white male, the Mana Source is a white male, Rudy is a white male, I'm an Asian male, many other YouTubers are male. There's very few female YouTubers. Now, I'm not saying that I think that they do a bad job. Or I think there should be more of them. But that's the representation. That is the numbers. So Gary T resigned from what would be a professional career. This is his dream. And here's the image. We have an Asian male, a Asian female. I cannot tell what that guy is with a phone. But another white female, another white female, and a, um, a possibly Hispanic male, a white male, another female, I believe, with a mustache? I don't know. But um, an, an African-American female and an African-American male, and this is who's playing MTG Arena, if we were to uh, listen to kind of what their demographic target is. I find this highly unrealistic. I've been playing Magic for 20 years. And I now play MTG Arena. I don't go out to play Magic anymore. Because I feel like it has oozed to the player base itself. Where diversity, diversity, diversity. 
I remember, I remind, I, the best story I can tell you is a story about AJ. AJ was a very famous magic player who at one time dated Mary. Yes, the same Mary that is accusing Owen and dated Owen. Uh, Owen Turtlewald, who is now MIA. And he had emotionally abused her. She accused him of emotionally abusing her, basically mooching off her, and then actually physical abuse. AJ, for the last four years, has been the most pro-feminist person you can imagine. And one of his biggest stances is that when someone who's female says something about harassment, we have to believe them with no evidence. I, I believe the saying is, believe her, is what he kept saying. And then later it came out to be that, wait a second, you're the one being accused now. And you're being accused by a female, Mary, but you're telling us not to believe Mary because you're the one being accused. Seems kind of paradoxical. And here we have the same situation where we have magic pros who are mainly white males. Brian Kibler is a white male. Reed Duke is a white male. Um, other people who have come out, many of them. Gary T is a white male. Owen is a white male. Yuya is a Asian male. They are all for diversity until actually diversity comes. And then they're like, oh, well, we don't like this anymore because we're losing our jobs. And that's what they are doing. There's only 32 of these people who are getting paid $75,000 and able to attend all events. Autumn, who is a non-binary female, or just non-binary, has replaced Owen. And Jessica has replaced, let's say, Yuya. And Sivats, who is this random Hearthstone player, has replaced Gary T, who stepped down. You can see where this is heading. Like, it doesn't take very... I mean, just math. Three of the 32 people have been removed. Oh, I guess two have been removed. One has actively left because he's felt so out of place in the current system. There's no way for me or you to make the mythic. There's no criteria. There's no definition. Do you just pick whoever they want to pick? So if you are these two people, good on you. But for everyone else, F you and F everything you care about. You have no hope of making it here. I have no hope. You have no hope. If you are a white male, your hope has just diminished tremendously, even if you are the best player. They're not looking at who is the best magic player. They're looking at diversity. They are looking at popularity. And to be quite frank... That's okay. There was a time I was an MTG shark and I had to penny, nickel, and dime and I was very difficult to trade with. I was always trying to trade up. And then I realized that, hey, I don't want to do this. This is not making me money. I don't want the extra stress of going and doing trades and you know, feeling that I got ripped off or having people feel like I ripped them off. Let me just never trade again. And I never traded again. I've never, you can ask anyone in the local area, I do not trade magic cards anymore. I do not buy or sell single magic cards anymore. I sell binders of stuff and just collections, but I don't sell one or two cards anymore because it's not worth the hassle. It's not worth the stress. And this is the same way. I'm never going to make the Mythic Players League. I've accepted that, and now I can enjoy it for what it is. But I do feel really bad for the male magic players who believe they have a hope I will say this, Jessica will not be the only female Magic player. Autumn is not going to be the only non-binary Magic player in this 32-player league. Sivaz will not own, he will be the first of many Hearthstone players, and eventually the whole league will just be Hearthstone players and non-binaries and female players. Uh, this is the team that won. The two guys did not get invites. And they honestly look like guys who would play Magic at my local game store. The one female gets an invite. There you go. They have the same accomplishments. They have the same, in, in many aspects, I would say they carried her. 
and that's a opinion that many people won't share but if the whole team was female i would say congrats that's great it's great that one female was on part of a winning team i don't i don't know i i don't know the qualifications if the qualifications are enough had she been a male or identified as a male I don't believe she gets the invite based on her current rankings and her current wins and the fact that there's so many people who have won a GP, who won a Pro Tour, who are not part of the Mythic League right now. It's sad. Uh, one example is Jeff Huglen. I don't agree with Jeff on political issues, but he deserves to be. He deserves to be one of these members, uh, one of these Elite 32 so it's an F you to me, it's an F you to you, and it's an F you to the whole Magic community. Diversity. You love it until it actually affects your job. Hmm. Interesting. Bye, guys.